I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on derivatives of logarithmic functions. The question here is differentiate f of x equals to x over 1 minus ln x minus 1 and find its domain. Let me first thank my student Avni for sharing this question with me and I hope it is going to benefit most of my subscribers. Now in this particular case, we can apply the quotient rule to find the derivative. So we can write the derivative of this function as equal to, so in the denominator, we have square of all this, which is 1 minus ln x minus 1 whole square. In the numerator, we'll have derivative of x times this function, which is 1. So 1 times 1 minus ln x minus 1 okay minus x times derivative of this function now what is the derivative of this function derivative of 1 is 0 and here we have minus so we have minus 1 over x minus 1 right so times the derivative of inside function which is 1 so that is what we get I could write this as 1 minus ln x minus 1 and here we have minus x minus minus becomes plus x over x minus 1 is it okay divided by 1 minus ln x minus 1 whole square Now we could simplify this by taking the common denominator, multiplying this term by x minus 1, right? So we get this derivative as equals to x minus 1, so I have multiplied with 1, minus x minus 1 times all this, right? x minus 1 times ln x minus 1 plus x divided by x minus 1 comes in the denominator so we get x minus 1 times all this which is 1 minus ln x minus 1 whole square right so that becomes the derivative you could simplify this a bit by combining these two x's so you get 2x minus 1 so you can write this as 2x minus 1 so combine this x with this minus x minus 1 ln x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 times 1 minus ln x minus 1 whole square. So that becomes your derivative for the function. So we have done the first part which is differentiation and now let's look into the domain part of this. Now from this function you can see that ln x minus 1, x minus 1 should always be positive, right? So, so the first restriction here is that x minus 1 should be greater than 0 and that gives us x to be greater than 1. So that comes from this part. Now, the denominator cannot be 0. That's the other restriction. So, for that, we can solve this equation that 1 minus ln x minus 1 should not be equal to 0, right? Or ln x minus 1 should not be equal to 1. Now, ln of anything is 1 if it is e, that is to say, x minus 1 should not be equal to e or x should not be equal to e plus 1. Is it okay? So, so we got these restrictions here. Okay. So combine these restrictions, we can write down the domain. So, so the domain is x belongs to real numbers so that 
x is greater than 1 and x is not equal to e plus 1. So that becomes the domain for the given question. Great. So that is how you can actually differentiate this function and also find its domain. I am Anil Kumar and I hope you appreciate the solution. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions as my students do. Thank you and all the best.